It is another beautiful day in Lower Manhattan. And by another beautiful day, it's probably the first beautiful day in Lower Manhattan for this year. And to start off today, we're actually going to a meeting at one of the coolest streets in all of Manhattan. So here on Rivington Street in the Lower East Side, there are the two main intersections, one right here, one over yonder. But then if you go to the middle of it, you will see Freeman Alley. It is definitely very easy to walk by and not even see it because it's just a little driveway. And then if you go all the way down, there's art on the wall, there's graffiti, and then there's even a cafe where my meeting is all the way down at the end. And then here at the end of the street alleyway is the Freeman's restaurant. I've never been here before, I've heard great things, and I'm gonna try and shoot a little bit, but this meeting is kind of important and about cyberbullying, so don't know how much I'm gonna get to film, but check back in in like one hour. Devils on horseback, bacon, not even gonna be polite and pass them. <laughs> this is Monica Lewinsky. You may remember her as the intern of President Bill Clinton, but to me, she's someone I have the utmost respect for. Far from the hounded 20-something who became infamous for her involvement with former President Bill Clinton, Monica Lewinsky appears in this TED Talk as a poised, confident 41-year-old, transforming herself into an advocate against cyberbullying. So when I got hit up about this lunch, I knew that it was going to be about how to prevent cyberbullying on social media, but I had no idea that it was going to be hosted by the Monica Lewinsky. I've seen her TED Talk and everything that she's gone through, it's a very inspiring story. You know, she was so young when she was the intern and that whole scandal went on and she really flipped her life around and now is making such an empowering impact on the world. So very glad I said yes to this opportunity and got to meet Monica and am gonna be doing some stuff to help prevent cyberbullying on social media. Brooklyn now and the reason I came over here is because I do love coming to Brooklyn especially when it's nice out cruising over the bridge it's so much fun but my good friend India is having a pop-up shop and there's free coffee I need some free coffee geez I need to come to Brooklyn and do more of my shopping look at this one dollar for a polo shirt that's a steal on sale from $2.99 to a dollar Wow. Since it is one of the first nice days here in New York City, I ended up skating all the way to where the pop-up shop is. It was about two miles, but just made it here. Really cool venue too. Bushwick Street Art. Guessing this is it right here. I'm not gonna go with this, You definitely but don't have to get anything. Also. I'm gonna go with one of these. Okay. This is the small, so maybe a medium. India, I'm sorry I didn't get the crop top, but thank you for the new t-shirt. Of course. Glad I'm able to support. You're one of my biggest fans and I so appreciate it. You're very true to your word though. Like, I am. If I say I'm gonna do something, I'm you really, there. Yeah, you're the most reliable person I know, I think. Everyone else is like, yo, 
the kindest thing I've ever heard. No, it's true though. Like, you're serious about it. Oh, thank you, Andy. Thank you so much. I'll let you handle your customers. And Craig. So as you guys can tell, this is a very hip and happening, interesting space. And I think there's this board that you can go up. We're gonna find out. You guys ready? Yeah. Oh yeah. It's nice. What's up, Craig? <laughs> it's a little dangerous up here. I mean, you could just walk one step and go down, and then this is how they fix the the missing plies. John, what's up? Do you talk to me? So we have a pop up shop. Yes. Next week, yeah, Saturday. April 7th, mm -hmm. we're going to be having Progress Daily and some Fortune merch. Yeah. yeah. Meet and greet, just have fun. There's going to be food, music, music, live <laughs> podcast. Oh, yeah, yeah. There's like, basically, he has this, is this uh, projector and he does this like crazy show. So that's going to be happening. Pop up shop, um, live podcast. It's going to be awesome. Podcast is going to be epic. Podcast is going to be epic. I'm going to leave all the details down below, but if you want to come meet us, Sarah will be there as well. Eric Conover, I think. Thanks. Eric Conover is yeah. going to be there. Dotan, Dotan, who pianos around the world. It's going to be awesome. So hopefully you guys can come next weekend. Come hurt. meet John Hill. Yo! So in this first box here, we have a nice little surprise package from Cliff Bar, and they really hooked it up. Got just about every flavor on the market, it seems. We got caramel, chocolate, peanut butter, and some other goodies. Thank you guys to everyone at Cliff Bar. I'll try not to eat all of these in uh, one night. Okay, and now for what's in this box. So in my next video, it's going to be a video about a story from Thailand and there's only been one time in my life where I was actually scared for my life and in my next video I'm going to explain that story. That was in Thailand a few months ago, I was with my buddy Dylan and what's in this box has to do with all that so it'll all make sense in my next video. But speaking of that, I actually need to film a scene of that right now so I'm gonna try and get Dylan to come over. Dylan! Yo, can you come over? Yeah, but I'll, I'll be there at like 11.30 or midnight. Yeah, that works. Okay, perfect. All right, I'll, I'll see you soon. I gotta count my register and then I'll head over there. We're good. I just got uh, three hours to kill. I guess I got some clip bars to eat. Very curious to see how this looks. I have the Luxly light on, so hopefully you guys can see me okay. But just came up here to do some thinking, especially today meeting up with Monica Lewinsky and just thinking about everything she went through and how insane it is that people cyber bully. That's the lowest of the low to be behind a computer screen and just try and bring someone down. I have zero respect for anyone who does cyberbullying or any bullying in general. I can only imagine being a young kid growing up with all the social media now. I mean, even when I was younger, we had something called Formspring. A lot of you guys are all around my age, so if you remember Formspring, where you can go on someone's Formspring profile and comment anonymously. So you could pretty much just like, say everything negative about this person, or positive, you're a nice person. Uh, on a brighter note, I wanted to say I am so excited for Dylan to get here and to show him his birthday present. It's definitely the biggest and most expensive birthday present or anything I've done for someone's birthday ever. So I can't wait to do that. I'm actually feeling a little bit anxious and just I can't wait to see the look on his face. It's gonna be like midnight and he's coming from his shift at the bar but I, I really can't wait. So I want to film his reaction and then we're gonna go to a bar that his brother works at around the block from my apartment and uh, probably call it a night. So yeah, next stop, bar. So I met up with Dylan. I gave him his birthday present. Dylan, what do you think of the birthday present? I had, honestly, best birthday gift I've ever gotten. I mean, I'm very humbled. This guy right here. I can't wait for them to see the video. So the video, my next video will be the video showcasing what I got him and just like this whole Thailand story about when we almost died. But now we're out celebrating Dylan's birthday Woo! at the bar that his brother works at around the block of my apartment having some fun. So I'm gonna end tonight's video here. But remember to get out and get busy and get good friends. Cause Dylan, you my dog.
Thank you very much, Brett Gazi.